Hello, and welcome to Reality, world's most realistic virtual and augmented reality solution from Zero Density. 2018 uh, uh, is being a great year for us, for our partners and customers, uh, and we have completed uh, many great projects with them. And so uh, this year at IBC, we have decided to showcase uh, what has been done with reality uh, by our partners' customers. Uh, in this case, I'm standing in, uh, in a college hoop set designed uh, by Fox Sports. So we thank them very much for uh, giving away uh, their design so that we could use it at IBC. Uh, I would like to start by uh, talking a few bits about the traditional ways of uh, doing virtual production, which is uh, pretty simple because it relies on a, a layer-based uh, pipeline. In the layer-based pipeline, you have your background uh, graphics. In the middle layer, you have your uh, key talent, maybe from an external uh, key source, and uh, some more augmented objects in the front layer. And those layers have nothing to do with, e with each other. Your control is very low, and the results are weak. Reality adopts a completely different uh, pipeline, which we uh, work on the cinema compositing pipeline. So we have to we render everything internally in our uh, in, in Unreal render and make our own composition on top of that. Uh, so in order to do that, we had to have our own uh, virtual production components. And one of the main components that we have is our keyer. Uh, reality has a built-in internal keyer called Reality Keyer, which is a software-based, GPU-accelerated, high-performance and high-quality keyer that works in 3D space. So I said a lot of words for one keyer, and I would like to sh uh, tell, uh, uh, describe them to you. I say high-performance because what you're seeing at the moment is an end-to-end -end 4K production. Uh, so this is a, a very high-performance keyer. And I said high-quality, but words uh, will not be enough uh, for me to describe that, so I will show you a few examples. Uh, Dado, my friend, uh, will uh, zoom into my hair a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit more, and focus on me so that you can see reality keyer in action. You could see all single and any single strand of my hair. So this is what, we, what Reality Keyer can uh, do for you. But take good notice, because Reality is right now showing two of its features at the moment. Uh, one, the Keyer is active. Second, you see the depth of field uh, feature in effect. Now, my friend Dado will focus back and forth myself and the uh, graphics behind. What we do here is we receive all, uh, all the data uh, from our tracking partners type here so that we can match the digital uh, uh, depth of field to the optical depth of field so that uh, the audience get uh, the maximum realism. And we are, showing, uh, we are also showing here that even in an unideal condition, which is myself being out of focus, Reality Keyer is trying to do its best. So this is a very, very unique feature of reality. How do we handle the transparent objects? So we can focus. Yep. So this is how we handle transparent objects, which is really good for you guys because the producers and the directors now have the flexibility to use uh, any kind of materials uh, in their environment, in the physical environment. Uh, there is no need to be afraid of uh, transparent objects like this one. And, of, and, and another important thing is how we handle the soft shadows because they're important. Dado will zoom out and uh, tilt down a little bit and Umit, my friend, will switch back to the original uh, video that we received from the camera. If you look close enough, you will see that I am reflecting, ev uh, I'm sh uh, I cast shadows everywhere. Normal, we have a lot of lights. By the way, we love to have the shadows because our gear can handle it very nice. So uh, uh, Dado will zoom in a little bit so that uh, when the graphic comes, you can see how those shadows be used as contact shadows and nicely blended on the virtual floor so that myself your talent could look like he's walking on the floor. Otherwise, uh, he will, uh, if, you, if there is no soft shadows, he will look like he's floating around. Uh, not every keyer can handle soft shadows, so the people are really afraid of them because they don't look really good. So they turn, uh, turn it off by clipping their keyer, which is a big mistake uh, because clipping the keyer means you're losing valuable details. Well. So I wanted to show you three different uh, scenarios so that you can understand that Reality Keyer performs well in many, many conditions at the same time. That's important. I would like to do one uh, thing. I never did it before <laughs> on air, so, uh, uh, so let me do that. So can you bring the, the ball to the ball middle? 
Okay, can you uh, get wider? So what I'm doing right now is uh, there is a ball right in this area, and I'm holding uh, a sensor from HTC Vive to just get uh, my uh, position in the area. So that means I should be able to move behind this wall, come here, and automatically move around it. So again, this is something that is you may maybe not sh uh, use in on air with this sensor, but this is uh, for to show how flexible reality is. We can get uh, data from any source and apply our techniques for composition to be able to automatically uh, get around augmented objects. So that is pretty, pretty important. So let's get the ball back down. This design uh, was created to be a 360 environment, but we decided to extend it into the physical area so that we could show our augmented technologies along with our features. So I'm going to walk through the virtual area into the physical seamlessly. Again, this is a very unique reality feature bec uh, because we have an internally generated 3D mask techniques. I also told you that our gear was 3D aware, but I'll come those two uh, a little bit later. First, I would like to show you our one of our coolest features, the portal window. So the LED wall uh, screen behind me is fed by one of our engines that receives the same tracking data uh, like our main uh, augmented engine. So what we, what, we do now, what we do now is to turn this video wall into a screen, into a window to the rest of the set so you can see through. And of course, if you look close enough, when the camera moves, you will see that this graphic is moving, but you have to see it from your monitors because that's the audience angle, which is the camera's point of view. OK, this is not the only thing. With video walls, we could actually make these items come into real by getting them out of the video wall, along with shadows and reflections and many other important features. Uh, I have another example so that you can monitor what is happening while the object is getting out. We're going to play a soccer player in slow motion, so check it out on your monitors. Not here. You're not going to see anything here. OK, so let's reset the soccer player and do this one more time. Get it out, and let's get slowly the guy out, along with shadows that the soccer player is casting on our LED video screen. Let's get the guy out. Uh, we all know nowadays that the virtual objects in the virtual area reflect on the virtual objects. That is fine, but reality could do more for you uh, such as this augmented element. So as you can see in this physical area, any reflective uh, object, any object with a reflective surface, that's the right uh, way of saying it, will have myself and also the environment uh, reflected nicely. And this is not a trick. This is not a decal. This is not a texture play. This is just a reflective surface. Uh, and the result is coming from realities internally uh, generated 3D masks. Okay, so uh, let's get the piano out so that I can talk about why I called our gear at the first time 3D aware. That's an easy one. So as you can see, I have a green cable. The gear is still active, but you are still seeing it as green because the gear knows in which volume, I say volume because it's 3D, in which areas uh, it starts, it needs to key or not. We get the measurements of your environment. We punch the numbers into our system to create regions to say, hey, let's key this area. Let's not key this area. We need reflections here, shadows there. Uh, and eventually, the result is the keyer will not key in this area because it knows. And that means you could use any green object, green cloth, green video, in the physical area, but it will immediately start kicking in when it hits the virtual area because the keyer is aware in 3D space it which pixels needs to be keyed. And this is not the only thing that we could do. We could key the green area as well, but we could also spill suppress uh, the physical area. So my friend will wipe into uh, the real video, 
so that you can see uh, the floor is highly reflective. It reflects all the green uh, from the next uh, cyclorama. We define a specific region only for the spill suppression algorithms so that the result, when the graphics are applied, can we wipe to the graphics? When the graphics are applied, you don't see a single pixel of green in your studio in this hybrid production. In a nutshell, reality brings you the ultimate tools to create stunning virtual augmented productions, period. So this was reality. Thank you very much for watching.